So this question comes from a um, Redditor and uh, it's got to do with how you start a drawing. So um, in front of me I've got uh, I've got a few objects. Um, I've got uh, my desk, a water bottle, some tape, um, a pocket knife, whatever. So if you're going to start a, a finished drawing, what you'd want to do is create a series of thumbnails, um, which are basically small studies in the format of your paper, um, just to kind of get an idea of the composition. So if I were going to do that, I would want to you know, start with a line for the desk going off the page and figure out kind of where those objects might be on there, just to see if they're... Um, is anything potentially interesting going on? And I can kind of gauge where all the activity is. So I know that that composition maybe isn't the best, so maybe I'd want to want to um, back out a little bit. So this is really how you would ultimately begin a drawing, is using these little thumbnail sketches. The next step, let's say I'm going to draw a single object, the, uh, the next step would be some kind of gesture. Um, for an object, you kind of want something to be able to correct. The gesture has um, has uh, a couple of functions. Um, one major function is a uh, framework. And a framework basically provides you something to begin to use linear perspective or judge how you're doing. Um, the second is that it creates a movement or a sense of movement and then uh, the third major function of it is that it creates balance and uh, balance includes uh, you know weight basically um, and mass so I'm gonna, if I'm going to draw this roll of tape I just kind of want to roughly know uh, where it is so I'll draw quickly, um, and then my next stage, I, now that I know roughly where it is, I can judge proportions a little bit better. I know that the outer edge kind of has to come out a little bit, so I have to refine things a little more. And you just kind of want to stay loose at this stage. You don't want to get too nitpicky about how things are going. And then I can draw. You can use the, the old lines and kind of draw. Um, subsets of these of these lines. You know that there's inner kind of seam work going on. And there's this little interesting piece of tape that is broken away. And just created this funky little ridge coming down to a point here. I can see the shadows that it creates too. And this is sitting on a little bit of desk. So I can create a slight amount of uh, linear perspective in the ground. Um, so that's generally how I would, how I would start um, drawing an object. Um, 
and then from there take it into the value or whatever. Um, the um, approach that I have uh, for um, life drawing is uh, a, uh, a little more um, a little more formulaic. Um, basically, there are four lines. The first line is the head. Line number two is the spine or center line. Line number three is the weight, weighted leg. Generally, one weight or the other, one leg or the other is going to carry most of the weight. And line number four is going to be the foot, which establishes the relationship to the ground. So, um, you know, on this you'll stay loose and then refine it. So all you have to do is get some sort of ovalar sphere for the head feel the spine and the curve of the spine coming down. Then sort of figure out which leg is taking the weight. Follow that down. And then you just kind of ground the foot. So here I've kind of more or less figured out where a figure is and I've also established proportions. Um, to continue on I would probably next add in the other leg essence of that movement and then I would add in the rib cage roughly where the, rough that in and then I would think about um, where the pelvis is Um, and then I can do the next step. I would establish a line for the for the shoulders at that angle, and that's going to generally be opposed to the uh, uh, angle of the pelvis. And then from there, I can you know rough in where the arms are. He's kind of in a closed posture. So that's how I would start a a gesture drawing on a uh, on a figure as as opposed to um, an object. I hope that helps you.